In that case then, because you've... I'm going to ask you an impossible question, and it wasn't on your cheat sheet, so I apologise in advance, because I've just thought of it now. Put yourself in the position of a booker in the situation that Triple H or anyone else is in at the moment, then, with that mindset of this idea that... Because I think you're right. I think that's the reason why Marvel movies and a lot of movies these days... Um, you know, the, the, the characters, they come with the pretense of being deeper and more nuanced, but ultimately they can be distilled down to very core values in the same way that wrestlers of the 80s were, because you had to explain them in a sentence or less, so that when they got on television, they could just do their thing. You didn't need to have a backstory in order to understand what they were about to do. How would you, how would you articulate what you think would need to be the direction of the business would need to pivot in order to achieve that kind of feeling in kids because I, for what it's worth i get people like me you and you know every age in between watch wrestling i get that but in the same way that you began your fandom when you were a kid and you could spend that disbelief more easily so did i i was watching in 1997 when the rock and all well, the rest of that sort of stuff was blowing up so ultimately i think that sort of it has to start from being from the younger and more formative years it bleeds in so like how do you at least if because if, if, if i mean if your fandom of the business these days is less geared towards the, the current product how would you articulate what you would want to see to ignite that same level of interest that you did when you were in your formative years at least well if you're trying to hook a kid today versus trying to hook a kid in 1985 um we sound like two priests trying to figure out what to do with the altar boys how do you hook a kid um if if you wanted to hook a young viewer today uh, versus back then the the whole palette would have to be different because today every eight nine year old is on a phone right so the entire world is exposed to them right we can't mm -hmm. when I was 10 in 1982 I only saw of Greg Valentine what Vince McMahon wanted me to see of Greg Valentine. So there was total control. No one, you know, I didn't I didn't have the opportunity to log on and see a uh, video of him signing a fan for a kid at, at a Waffle House. So I was left to wonder whether when he left the ring, was he beating his kids at home? And, and was he the, the, the horrendous uh, character that I saw on television? So just societally there we were allowed to have some mystery well we can't anymore so knowing that if you're triple h or anybody that's in a creative position in a wrestling company now you've got to figure out how to use this to hook now i i, I still haven't seen it done well ever but what they i just wish people would realize i guess people in 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 creative positions you don't have to force anything Mm. the viral nature of what happens when anything interesting happens that's the hook it's got to be interesting all you'd have to do is have what looks like a fan across the room taping a wrestler in a bar with mm. some of the boys afterwards with his hand on another wrestler's girl's ass you don't have to do a fucking promo about it you don't have to do shit you just have to get some fan to drop that video on twitter and just let the thing burn it's weird that you've actually mentioned that the, the riddle rollins thing seems to be playing into that um that conception today because in fact pretty much exactly as you said it which is the question is is it work is it uh legitimate is kind of it's at least tempered by the fact that it's it's filmed in such a way as to invite the yeah but if it was w can it, but it's wwe they overproduce everything and there's no one there and it's from an company part it, it invites more questions than it answers and that's perfect because that allows for that suspension of disbelief for fans to go well listen even if it is a work isn't this brilliant isn't this just right. entertaining isn't this just we know like, everything to work we know everything's a work we know yeah it. But can you do it in such a way that allows us to go, ooh, what if it wasn't? Yes, what if it you wasn't, know? and what would happen next? And that's, right, 
I need to watch next week to see if this is a work. And if it, if it isn't, I need to see how these characters are going to progress and evolve. That's the what if that, again, the mm -hmm. most successful franchise of all time, Marvel, they made sure to leave a two minute clip at the end of each of their movies to go, oh, you liked that, did you? Well, we're not done. And here. And everyone leaves the cinema going, well, when's the next one? And there you go. You've got your you've got a franchise without even needing to announce anything in advance. You just let it do its thing, as you said. I've I've I don't want to overstate this, but an example that I consistently give when I'm asked questions like this is about when CM Punk came back was five years ago or whatever, and there was that, you know, the the work shoot thing, you know, and I I I would I would have kept him off of WWE television actually and I know it's all about the ratings so you can't I would have just had him go around the country showing up in little halls with the WWF title and completely abandoning and you know they're trying wow he was he was in Montana this past week and no one knows where he is when he's gonna show up and legitimately just send them out don't send the WWF cameras just let the audience get it here mm. It'll be everywhere, but just have them walk into a VFW hall in nowhere, USA, and with the title. I thought they could have gotten six months, a year, out of that whole thing within they a month. It they was had the main event two on weeks. The next yeah, goddamn pay per view, and it's just like, oh well, there it goes. But uh, I, I watched again because I was like, oh, okay, they're smartening up now. They got it, but they had the lightning in a bottle and they just let it go. It's an interesting parallel because, again, uh, it, it almost exactly the same fashion. A friend of mine sent me the the promo for the um, uh, the SummerSlam, uh, sorry, Money in the Bank match, and uh, that got me back into wrestling after a long hiatus.